So apparently the battery's still got three out of three bars, which probably means there's only half hour left on it. You know, the way this thing works. Why don't they show percentages? It's not like you can read any of the text on this uh, three inch screen, I reckon. Hang on, one, two, three, maybe four. Hmm. And it's actually a four to three screen. It's not even a wide screen, which is kind of weird for a camera. But I suppose if you're taking photographs, they don't have to be wide screen. Actually, I would have thought uh, wide screen uh, LCD panels are cheaper nowadays than four to three ones. I think I've only had this camera about uh, three years. Yeah, so, um, ah, bandits. Never had bandits. Never played it, actually, until the uh, emulator era of the 90s. And you would only know that from the uh, era of Win Vice with built in uh, video capture. But uh, this is uh, quite a good example of. Uh, you know, uh, an early game on both the Atari and the uh, C64 actually. Uh, of, you know, just sort of like that Galaxian style bloody uh, shoot 'em up sort of thing. Nothing too fancy. I would play Moon Crystal, which is bloody brilliant, but that was one of the games I owned as a kid, and uh, those games will not be played in this room on this TV. In this setup, although I might use an SD to AC. Mm. However, I've got thousands of Commodore tapes, so you know we could try actually loading some. But that's the future, mate. Joystick in port two, blah blah blah. Playing with keyboard. Uh, I don't want unlimited lives. Unlimited shield energy. I don't even know how to activate the shield, mate. Bandits can't steal anything. Well, that would, would that's not realistic. Bandits always steal things. Commodore key for level skip. I don't think the graphics change, but if I don't press the Commodore key, then it doesn't really matter. Nice little intro there. Silent intro. You know what, I, I can't read that, is that Ogo? I know it says Tony and Benny. And uh, Len Bertoni. So this is 1983. I've got the joystick in port too, mate. Why don't you let me start? Why is it silent all of a sudden? All oh, right, it just happens to be a very silent game. I actually think the Atari version is a better game engine. I think it plays more fluidly. Right, so if you push up, you get the shield. All right, yeah, they, they steal your fucking uh, fruit. Uh, but if you shoot them, uh, you get the fruit back before they go off the screen. They uh, kind of line up here. I think I would have liked this game back then on the C64 1983. It's a very early time. Ah, oh, crap. Um, a lot of games weren't perfect in the uh, 1983 era on the C64 anyway. I mean, people were still learning how to write smooth controlling, uh, you know, game engines for your game input. Uh, which is something, uh, you know, I was used to on the VCS. Don't matter what the graphics were like. Uh, you know, when you're playing Pac-Man, it was instant response. The actual game engine for the controller input was arcade quality. Unlike this Pac-Man. Probably due to a delay with the uh, 
more complex sprite multiplexing on uh, such a low memory system. So really, you should just protect the fruit, which is uh, what all cricketers have to do. I think I put the shield on by accident, because this isn't the uh, fucked up, uh, ah, bloody hell, they always get away with one. My pears! I could put something in for uh, Bruce Forsyth actually, about uh, what you get for a pair nothing in this game or something, I don't know. So I finally got John Gage uh, to see that there is a, another arcade trivia, which just happens to be called the Trivia Arcade. Um, so uh, sadly, he didn't have it in his collection of uh, disc images for the uh, C64 emulator. So actually, this is quite interesting. I might have to play this with trainers at a later date. And I don't mean my uh, Kappa trainers. I prefer the feeler one. You know what? I would have liked that game on the C64. I mean, Jesus Christ, we all liked uh, Annie Rock Scramble with the uh, character scroll. It was great. I didn't really complain. I wish I could play it now. But sadly, we're probably a year away from having that room uh, finished. Don't even feel like tidying up after the last bit of fucking uh, decorating I did. Never mind all the donkey work to uh, get on with uh, the very complicated business of uh, installing a kitchen, well two kitchens technically, uh, by myself which probably needs uh, two people and uh, some sort of uh, plumber and electrician. Oh look it shows you that there's a mothership. So, like I said, I, d I definitely would have liked this game back then. But I didn't have uh, copied games. Um, you couldn't use tape-to-tape -tape copies to uh, copy C64 games, you see. So that was quite rare. In fact, from school, I think I only got uh, a copy of Turbo Tape 64, which is a software accelerator, uh, which we you know, adds to the uh, Commodore basic routines. It was a uh, left arrow and then L for load, S for save and V for verify. Um, obviously you can do shift run stop because of the way that works. Um, and that had, uh, you know, cartridge games on it. Pole Position, Popeye, International Soccer, uh, Gyrus, what else do you have? Uh, Star Wars by Parker Brothers too. So, yeah. Shame really. I think, uh, although possibly the Atari version plays a bit smoother, uh, maybe 15-20%. Uh, I think this is, still would have been a very welcome expenditure for my precious pocket money, sir. <laughs> 